Thank you, Father Bona. And it's uh, my real pleasure to welcome you today to this Thomas Pro Seminar. And we, uh, we uh, that is Amikito Maimori, are holding what we hope to be the first of a series of uh, fellowship, Thomas More Fellowship uh, seminars. And we would like to have one every two years in Paris or somewhere else. I've heard of a few programs or a few propositions, so maybe it might not be here next time, but for the moment, uh, that's what we hope to do. And of course, and I wanted to have a small seminar and not a large conference, so that uh, the program would be rather close, well, and uh, guests could come and join, join the round tables. Because initially I had hoped that some of you or some people would have uh, proposed round tables because I thought it's, it's always a pleasure to debate on this topic. But also I realized that you prefer writing papers and deliver them. And that way it will be a round table after each paper. Because we are not so many, and then we have that has allowed <coughs> us to have real time for discussion. So everyone here, guest or speaker, is really welcome to join in, and I hope we will do it. And I think uh, whenever I've shown the program to people who cannot come or are not coming, they say, "Oh, I regret I'm not there." Uh, really, it sounds beautiful, and I'm sure that this uh, seminar is going to be well. It will be about history. History, maybe it will be historic, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to be an optimistic person, as you see. So anyway, um, 10 countries should have been represented, and the furthest away perhaps uh, are not in the end. But we have eight countries here, France, Spain, Germany, the United Kingdom, Portugal, Belgium, Israel, and the United States with the different states from New York, Washington DC, Oregon, Hawaii, and thank you for all of you who have traveled from so far, and we are really, really thankful and hopeful of many things to come. So we chose this topic, Thomas Mann History, um, for the seminars. It seemed broad enough, as I said when I called for the papers, to include more treatment of history, as well as history history's treatment of more, and uh, I thank you for responding to most of the various aspects that we had uh, explained in the argument, and um, and you you know, you've seen the program, so. We've allowed 30 minutes question for each panel, and I'm sure that this will give, give us ample time to discuss. And when we reach the end of the seminar, it will be interesting to think back on the talks and debates that we've had and see what major question, if there is one major question, that has finally, finally been asked concerning more throughout our discussions. What would have been this discussion? What would have been this extremely important question about more? And will we, will we have solved it? I don't know. I mean to have a sort of conclusion at the end. Or we will have conclusions, of course. But uh, I think that might be interesting to just uh, have placed a step here and we may go forward a little more. And the second, the second thing I'd like to ask you to think about while we discuss at lunch or whenever or over the coffee is what topic would you recommend for our next seminar in 2020, 2020? It is something that may come up in discussions. Uh, maybe you, you've thought about it already, maybe naturally on the table. I don't know. I thought there were a few things, but none is really a decision. So right now, uh, time has come to begin with our first session, and it's called More in History. And I leave the floor to Professor Elizabeth Kachin and Dr. Gabriel Schmidt. First, I, will, I, I want to present, for those who don't, who don't know her, uh, Professor McCutcheon, so Elizabeth has come from Hawaii, the University of Hawaii, where she is Professor Emerita, and she uh, has been, she has made groundbreaking studies, research, really, especially on Utopia, and of course I'm sure you all know her study of light artists, because she was the first person to discover them, and she's done much more, and about Erasmus, <coughs> Robert, like this. 
and of course she is a Thomas Moore Scholar and a Renaissance Scholar that we are very, very happy to welcome today, plus being a very dear friend. So thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you.